too much fun. <laughs> it's too much fun for a bunch of nerds to have. It really is. Who are you calling a nerd? You. Nerd. You nerd. most of all. All right. I mean, this was the dream. This was one of my dreams when we started doing all this is to get to live streaming, get to be able to do this live. But there's a lot of complications beyond, you know, needing all this equipment and this badass set. It's live, Eleanor. <laughs> Yes. All of your mistakes are live yes. for people to see. The fact, however, you have not edited out my all, none of my mistakes for the past two years, so I'm kind of. Oh, oh, oh yeah! Wow! Ooh. I guess she doesn't listen wow. to the episode. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Here you go, Troy. No, oh, thanks, buddy. Fuck Got two you, cats. Grand. Grand. Um, we, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, my two don't grand. Touch, don't touch me. I don't know what's more fun, uh, playing or the intermission. Uh, <laughs> Got what? some fresh beers because David is the king of all beers. Wow, yes. that's so cool. Almost uh, trademark. He's he's, he's he's Miller all High beer. Life. I threw in the all. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> he's this close to Miller High Life. Almost, oh. You're almost there. Wow. Almost wow. There. Yeah, so uh, David uh, comes in, obviously, as uh, a rules lawyer for us, and he speaks on the, uh, the, the live stream, which is fantastic, and, and has this added bonus <laughs> of being, uh, what did you call it, a beer trader? trader yeah, a very, beer trader. Very active beer trader. Traitor? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I only drink vodka. Backstab them. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. Et tu, Budweiser? <laughs> But it's, uh, no, it's truly so great because every time we come in, there's new beers, and David also can explain like why we would like these beers. And right? Yeah, and like certain hops and whatever. Yeah, it's like, oh, you like this last week, Joe? I brought you something this right. week. Yeah. He, he never deigns to bring two cans from the same brewery. Yeah. Oh, that's no, no, fair. that's no. fair. But Even from the same region of the country. <laughs> no, <laughs> from yeah, all we gotta support the, the niche. There's there's all over so the place. There's so much yeah. alcohol in them, though. I'm getting very. very that is the draw. So yeah. David, all your beer has is like alcohol in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you bring us some some O'Douls? You yeah, traitor! Yeah. I thought traitor. it was non-alcoholic beer. <laughs> somebody, actually, somebody did call us out for not naming some of the beers that we were having on oh. air because, I mean, we should, I guess. Uh, this one is from also Cincinnati. David? No, no, no. no, that's, no, no. that's from uh, Brooklyn. That's, oh, this uh, is, Bro this is from Guanus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is uh, so nice. This is in the clouds. It's their LAX to JFK one, and it's a really good IPA. Do they use water from the canal? <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, yeah. that's, how, that's how you get like the you coffee. Can, you, can you can light it on fire like the, the flaming uh, mow. That's, why it's, <laughs> super flaming flaming that's why it's so mo. easy. It's really good. <laughs> but he does. He has a tendency to bring a candy and be like, oh, you got to try this. Uh, and then I'll look at it and be like, well, it's 16 so percent <laughs> after the show. Well, uh, this is a more of an after the show beer. <laughs> on, on my commute into work today, I had an IPA explode on me. So I was, oh, oh, no. Yeah, oh. yeah. You must have smelled like a real rummy at work. Exactly. <laughs> oh, no. I got breathalyzed <laughs> <laughs> around the heavy machinery. They just didn't trust me. <laughs> Gold poos bag Dave is here this morning. A rummy. A oh, rummy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, yeah, I mean, this is just a blast. Hopefully it's translating uh, in both the video and the audio because we're having a lot of fun. Yeah. I think it's just going to get more fun. And thinking about last episode, like one of the things that I love geeking out about, and I, I, I sort of mentioned it in, in the episode, but um, I just love sci-fi. And it doesn't even have to be sci-fi, but I love military squad-based sort of tactical movies and stuff like that, and uh, especially in a sci-fi setting and that idea of like uh, the, the dark ship the you know moving along and trying to clear each room with your allies and everything it's just it's so fun to imagine like up against the wall peek around yeah point the gun then the melee person goes around in the front to the next corner you pass them to the next corner you know that that step by step squad movement uh, clearing rooms so you don't get flanked have you ever I think been it's in, such a blast. Have you ever been in a situation like a li real military situation or like paintball or like similar? Yeah, when yeah. You've had to I've, physically. I've, he's yeah. not allowed to I, talk about yes. many of the. Right. Joe was in Desert Storm. Everything I did was black ops, <laughs> so it's. <laughs> he how, can't really talk. Joe well, it hasn't been declassified yet. <laughs> I but did, when it is, I'll yeah. let you know. No, I did paintball. Paintball is intense. It's basically, unbelievably intense. Basically the same thing. No, but no, no, no. But, no. Yeah. but it paintball. depends on the color of the paint in the gun. <laughs> <laughs> but one, paintball hurts. Like, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. hurts when you get shot. Because it oh, welts, yeah. right? Has yeah. anybody not oh. played paintball here? I have not. Of oh. course they haven't. It, oh. it Guys, is, we, oh, wait, it is hold legitimately on. so painful we have to go. that we you have actually to go. Uh, like you actually are building. afraid, like looking around corners. And you get you get so into oh, it. Yeah. I'm yeah. gonna say this with absolute love. 
but I really don't want to play with Joe because I feel like I would actually die. Be what if you're team. on the same team? Yeah, be on his team. No, that's what, what he I, means. That he would actually die. Yeah. <laughs> and you, no, but you yeah, also you're... wear masks. And you can wear eyes. you can wear like plastic armor and stuff too. I'm yeah. afraid of Joe just getting angry and me dying from that. Yeah. 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 Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> he just butts you with his paintball. Well, <laughs> it, it isn't it isn't a situation like that. I can't. It's it's hard to explain. Like you just you're quiet. Yeah. And intense, yeah. and then you get shot, and you leave the field. One time, you know oh, what I mean? Like oh, that's, I, okay, and it I, feels like you die. Wait, <laughs> like, wait, wait, wait. That's like, not pop. the paintball I've been playing. I, we were like, well, there's a lot of different. Right, right. I was at a field in Sweden, and you know, I was like running around. I was the only girl, and so they had like, of course, because they were asshole boys, they were like, let's kill the girl a lot, and so I became the bunny oh. that was running. Anyway, um, that sounds but, horrifying. Yeah, but but it I was remember like a fox also. Hunt. I had no cardio. Were they so all I was mounted? Like, <laughs> the, most, the most dangerous game. They're all riding you down on horseback. It's <laughs> like Planet of the Apes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, but exactly. the, people, the people take it really seriously. I haven't played, but uh, there's another form of it that's not paintball. It's actually just airsoft guns with mm-hmm. pellets, and they like they have an honor system, and when they get hit with the airsoft gun, they like raise their hand and they walk off the field. And I watched this 15-minute video of this guy covering this dude who cheated. He was like sniping people and he kept on getting hit and he wouldn't tag himself out. And it was like, just like, look at this cheater. And like, he's <laughs> shamed out of the airsoft gun community now that this YouTube video is out there. And I was like munching popcorn, like, yeah. give me more. I love that drama. <laughs> what a niche world. It's yeah. so good. Yeah. No, it is. But it's true. I mean, cheaters are the the worst, especially when they're like, "No, you didn't hit me. I was that was there before, you know." Right. <laughs> no, no, I rolled a twenty. It was right. just it was like it fell and then it was a twenty yeah. afterwards. Yeah. That's so. so juvenile. It's just like, "No, you're dead." It's like, "No, uh, <laughs> no, I have super gravity armor. You can't hit me." <laughs> and you what? never and you think that adult men, because these were at least twenty five and uh, over, like you, they would have passed that age, but like. I had no assumption that that, that would be the yeah. truth. It's the same with soccer, like soc- non-professional soccer. Uh, they just turn into Same children. in professional I was, soccer. I was about to say professional soccer, that's fair, too. That's fair, that's fair. Ooh, they roll on the yeah. ground and... Yep. Well, I think we should all go paint, do paintball as a group and, and role play as our characters. Wait, so we're LARP. Wait, 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 wait. Can we LARP while we paintball? Yes. Well, yes. Can I no matter shoot? what the other teams do. They'll look at us and we're like, we're oh fucking role playing. Right. It'll be you three versus you three versus me, David, and Anne. Oh, I like that. Three that's on three good. on three. Oh, that's kind of Can I have oh a gun that shoots paintballs this big? <laughs> 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 Fuck. <Wait a> Softball <laughs> size paintball. Oh, paint, oh they, God. They actually Jesus. wouldn't hurt as much, but you just be covered. No, paint. no, no you just, you just paint. break your ribs. It's like, oh. Right. <laughs> Chest shot. I, th- I think my tactic is actually going to be to hide around corners with Krylon spray paint cans and just hit you right in the eyes with them. Just Jesus blind Christ. you. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe get lighter later on when it gets more intense. <laughs> Flame, <laughs> improvised flamethrower. <laughs> yeah. I, cha- I changed yeah. my mind. I mean, it's paint based. It <laughs> right. should work, right? I'm gonna Matthew. get out. I'm gonna get out my paint carbon steel blade. Matthew, maybe we could like go to lunch. Yeah. yeah. Like, not... or, the, or the casino. Or the casino. <laughs> Casino. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> casino, then paintball. Yeah. Oh my god. Casino, oh, I like this idea. Yeah, I, I've been dying to play paintball uh, ever since. Uh, I haven't played in like 10, 15 years. It's yeah. so much fun. It's probably been 10 years for me. You know what's not going to be fun oh. is this giant trap that went off. Oh, what? Uh, <sighs> it's pretty not fun. I forgot. Um, yeah, me too. Let's talk about who's going to roll a reflex save. Um, let's have. Um, Frisk, Qualo, Kreska, and Callum all roll reflex. Oh, stairs. why me? Why me? Why indeed? Ooh. Because you started it, man. Well, that aside. <laughs> <laughs> 21. We're going to split hairs here? 21 uh, for Captain K. 25 for Frisk. 25 for Frisk. 12 for Qualo. 12 for Qualo. And was that everybody? 21. 21. For Callum. For Callum. Qualo, unfortunately. Failed, buddy, and take sixty-four points oh. of damage. Oh my god! Oh, you weren't what? kidding. Electricity damage. Electricity oh, damage. Wow. The rest of you take thirty-two points Ooh, of damage. Whoa. It was eight d twelve, and I was like, 
10, 11, 10. Oh, you weren't joking. 11, 10, 10. Yeah, 8d12 <laughs> damage. And you wow. see almost all of uh, Qualo's stamina <laughs> drain, but he's still got some left over. You see some is all wow. left in his Wait, eyes. But... You have more than 60 points of stamina? 70, in fact. Wow. I'm never going into combat alone again. Mm. <laughs> you, just, well. you just do it. All right. <laughs> you well, go along. Wow, that is that's, Holy that's shit. great. They call me the cleaner for a reason. Did you stink? Because I smell like poo flowers. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, Friss, something in just touching this thing is enough to uh, short and just <laughs> arc of electricity flies throughout the room. And Friss, the minute, millisecond before he senses what's about to happen and he, like, jumps back and, like, goes flat on the ground with his evasion and he takes no damage. Ah! <laughs> the so guy who triggers you. If it's chain lightning... Mm-hmm. And the first person takes no damage because of evasion. Does it get chain? Ooh, David. It's, an, it's not chain lightning. It's an arc uh, that I have modified yeah. for six players. Damn it. Oh, so now you're making up rules. Got it. <laughs> Here we I don't know why we're so happy about it. <laughs> well, it's just a good, a good song. song. It's a you see Qualo is sizzling. Oh. I mean, I'm in is a everyone spot. okay? Kreska is also sizzling. <laughs> Um, <laughs> perhaps we should take a moment. Ow. Will it happen again? Or has it discharged whatever Don't it is capable of doing? Touch it again, please. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The hair I, is just I standing agree. up like static <laughs> electricity. Oh, everybody looks like Yahoo serious. Oh. Well, how, does yeah. it, how does it appear? What did he touch exactly? Does it appear to have discharged its power? Was it a trap? First, roll an engineering check. Uh. Come on. Ooh, uh, 32. Yeah, you feel pretty confident that uh, it's not going to reset. I think it had discharged a built-up store of energy. I think we're all right now. Think and about it. If what Friss figured out was correct, this thing was meant to be able to charge things for a long, long time. But it's been a while since it's been used. It touched it, and all that energy went out into Qualo and Kreska and Callum. Oh, man. Should we take 15 minutes? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no time. Uh, there's no time. Dur- <laughs> <laughs> Must move on. Uh, dur- did, we, did we do, sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, did we do a perception check? Are we like out of danger? Did we check the room? That's fine now. Oh, surely. Yeah. yeah he, Great. We get the sense we're out of danger. <laughs> Callum exactly. trusts you. Yeah. I will do a general perception around the room. Okay. Same. Uh, 28. 28. Uh, what do you got there, Linnea? Um, one Seccaroni, 18. <laughs> 18. Linnea finds nothing. 19. <laughs> no, you find some burnt flowers. Um, Captain K, you find an old piece of security equipment, probably lying on one of the tables. Um, how are you with engineering? I, I have some. Roll an engineering I was check. I was the ship's engineer under our former captain. I don't need your life story. Just give me an <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. How does he have friends? Don't uh, encourage. Uh, no, I, it's a 12. Was the engineer? There's a reason. I was <laughs> replaced. I was more of a hobbyist, really. With the great PG. Yes, yes. she mm. was. Fanta- a real, she a is real fantastic. She's not dead PG, yet. PG, roll an have- engineering check from beyond. Uh, <laughs> first, you want to take a look at this thing? Uh, I'm still looking at the device. I was still looking at the device. Yeah. yeah. Can I do another check on that? Like now, I yeah. try to take it apart. Uh, that is a 32. 32. Um. Yeah, you could probably take it apart. You're not sure if you could put it back together. Um, there might have been like a magical source of power mm. in there. That's what the runes led you to believe. Uh. Um, so you're not sure what it could be used for, but you know, it's 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 completely alien technology. I'm sure it would uh, fetch a price some somewhere. That's fascinating. This is. Oh, sorry. And he goes over and checks out what c- the captain has for him to look at. Another engineering check. Oh, 20. 20 on the engineering. Um, yeah, you're not sure. Whatever it is, it looks like it probably could be powered up, but you don't know what it is. We'll take it with us. Yeah, take it with you. You can't take it with you. No, you can't. <laughs> I think uh, good time. Koala once asked Dr. Frisk, have you ever seen a generator this small and so powerful? Uh, and Qualo is asking as a pure novice, so he doesn't know. Like, yeah, I don't. Is this it. common to have this much energy in something this small? Is basically what he's searching out for. Um, 
It's quantum technology. My, the answer I always kind of lean on is, sure, it's the future space. It's the future, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's not that crazy. Okay. Can we take our 15 minutes now? No. Wait, why do we need 15? Do no, we, just need 15? we just need 10. We just 10. need 10. 10. 10. Matthew. During this, Some uh, captain you are. During this 10 minutes. I like to give my team an extra five minutes on their break. <laughs> <laughs> to talk, to, to regain, nice. to debrief. Hey, what hey just let's take 15, everybody. Guys, that was, <laughs> Kellen goes, uh, that was really scary. Yeah. Um, can we take 15 to debrief <laughs> about what just happened? That's <laughs> one minute longer than you are old in years. <laughs> <laughs> Very perceptive. Math, Good right. Job. Wait, so are we taking 10? Yeah. This is an unbelievably During, uh, strange thing. So place. you burn a resolve point if you are going to yep. do it. And, then, and uh, we regain full. You regain your stamina. Full right. stamina. Yes, full stamina. Thank you. Dax is going to uh, walk up to Callum during this and uh, during this downtime and just he's he's interested in uh, this story of this person who was stripped of, of everything and showed up with nothing uh, as a result of these pirates. Uh, Dax had a run in with pirates, which changed his life uh, completely and sort of set him on this path. So he comes up and. Says, you said you had been a captive of these pirates? Oh. Or uh, were you working with them? Um, I was, um, I was sold to them. Sold to them? From, by whom? Um, it's kind of a long story. We have We've got 14 minutes. more minutes. <laughs> 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 well, it all started when I was born. Um, he was like, uh, I uh, was working with uh, some people, and um, shit went south. <laughs> uh, How long ago was this that you were working with people? Um... I guess I, I guess like a few months. I yeah. was with the, I was with the uh, the pirate ship, the uh, the CS Mefears. They were smugglers. They weren't pirates. And did they own you? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. So, yeah, I guess I worked for them. I guess that that's fucking slavery. I don't know. Whatever. Did you remember a time before working with them? Working for them. Yeah. What did you do then? Why do you care? I'm curious about the transition from a life that is your own, a life of freedom, to a life under the oppression of others that seek to use you for their own gain. I was never free. I don't know, like, I, I always was with somebody for some reason. What's being free? You work for somebody, they pay you. If you're asking, like, what, what my childhood was like, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't have family. Like, I just worked and found a job, found another job. Like, I don't know. I also don't know what it's like to be free. Though, I'm finding out now, it is a recent development, and I think with us, you will have a chance to explore it as well. It comes with its own challenges. I have found more questions than answers, mainly. Do you, um, do you work for, uh, Kres Kreska? I do not work for Kreska. We are part of a team. And I am able to make my own decisions, which is a change from my former employment. As you said, employment that once seemed like a choice, but became evident it was not. Do you have a family? I do not. Callum just kind of, he understands. He like, he shakes his head, he, he gets it. And Dax sort of like, thinks for a moment. No one ever asked him that question before. How would I? I do not know. You don't know what it feels like to have family? I never really thought about it. No, I guess, I guess not. Hmm. 
You and I should find out. Maybe we can ask the others. <laughs> oh my god, I think that's funny. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> uh, oh, okay. <laughs> well, we don't have to do it now. <laughs> there is more <laughs> pressing business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's still like holding up dancing lights. He's like, yeah. He thinks you're weird. He thinks you're kind of weird. He's like, okay. I like the idea of the dancing lights just stopping. Like your concentration, you can't keep them. They go out. Right I'm right like, right. Think, I'm uh. thinking too hard. I'm like, oh shit. Well, yeah. so far, except Kreska, the three of uh, Dax, Friss, and Koala has all like attacked <laughs> Callum with like. Who are you? What's your backstory? And tell me has everything. And also, mm -hmm. what's your what's your puberty or whatever? <laughs> like, what's yeah? You know? And it's weird because like Callum, he does he's not like secretive, but nobody has ever asked him stuff like this before. Like this, he this, this is like new. He kind of wants to talk to people. He's guarded, but he's like family. Like, what's my huh, puber puberty? <laughs> like what? <laughs> Yeah, he's so, probably yeah. never had a chance to reflect on any of this stuff. No, not yeah. at all. It's pretty cool. Yeah. And then he dap stacks up. Yeah. So, cool. Yeah. No, he doesn't do that. <laughs> what is this dap? <laughs> um, weird room. Big. This one patch that looks like this might have some information because the rest has been just completely covered in mold and decay. And instead, it almost kills the captain and hurts Qualo pretty bad. It even messes up Callum. Luckily, Friss is able to get out of the way, even though it was his fault. It's <laughs> <laughs> a door leading to the south. Yep. What do you want to do? Linnea is standing there, um, and she failed her... Oh, well, she did it for per perception, but I want to listen. Okay. Yeah, roll a new perception. Um, 21... Two, 22. <coughs> listen. You don't hear anything. All right, I'm going to... Take a, take a, take a chapter from Dax's book and try to stealthily open it. Are you, um, Captain? Uh, do I have permission to move on? Are you guys of course. fine? All right. We've thoroughly searched the room. Like we we feel that way, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Uh, all right. So she's going to. S I have really. <laughs> Dax will cover you. Yeah, I have unbelievably shitty stealth, by the way. So, uh, eighteen. Some flower you are. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very graceful, but loud. Like, She's like a like, battle like chrysanthemum. Like a of, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is one of those ballet dancers who used to hear the thuds of every football. Yeah. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Hand over your ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, fine. I, 18. 18. <laughs> you open the door. All right, and then... <laughs> and then I look in. I, have, I see 60 feet in dark vision. Okay. Um, oh. You sort of, right in front of you, oh, it's blocked by... Uh, situation uh, the the walls and the ceiling and the floor of this room not unlike the room you just came uh, through thick layer of mold and it, again those pale white filaments thousands of them just like poking out like tiny fingers it's creepy oh, man. however you see uh, right in front of you one it looks like deeper in the room another uh, large rectangular object and they're free of mold hmm. the Crystalline uh, devices look to be marked with uh, sharp edged designs. Um, and you see that the one in front of you has a dark computer console built into it. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll, uh, knowing what happened in the other room, but I will carefully move in and go to the, to the left, right, left, right. What's this is the right. Sometimes they go both ways. I uh, know, it's super confusing. To um, my right. So you go stage right, your stage left. Right. <laughs> Qualo will, <go, laughs> will go west. Go west. West. Um, all right, so you can see uh, the extent of the room. Qualo, you going all the way to the end? Yep. All right, so you can both <coughs> see that the room goes another, you know, 35 feet. Right, 10, 15, 20, 30. Nailed it. Um, <laughs> and Pat yourself triple on the sow back. cow. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's my work tonight, folks. Um, you can see now that that other console also has a uh, computer console built into it. There's uh, one, I just pinged the wrong thing, but there's one uh, on this end here near Uqualo, and then on the uh, southern console, Linnea, you can see one on the uh, eastern end. Mm. Dax, Squallow, would you be so kind as to sweep the room? And immediately, I, Captain. Immediately, Qualo 
jumps to the other side of the room. And Linnea's covering Dex. Jump to the other side of the room. And that opens things up. You now see the full extent of the room. And it looks to be empty except for these two giant, uncovered with mold, like computer consoles. Yeah, they look like... They look like servers or something. Like yeah, there are, there are mainframes. Are they are they dark? Is there power or? Uh, they don't look to have any power, despite what this map will tell you. But Chris, yeah, you do get the sense that these are servers um, that could probably be accessed with the uh, built-in terminals. It uh, looks like there are cables along the ground too. Is that? Are those there? Mm-hmm. Like between? Yeah, they're there. Um, but. They're not providing any power. Okay, Chris is just going to take a quick sweep around. He's going to just look at all the the cabling, like make s- see if there's anything exposed or anything notable about it. Perhaps we could use the device we just found to power up the computer systems. Well, that thing is dead, I think. Right? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. dead, dead. It's dead. Yeah. You probably could jury rig one of your batteries to provide power. Mm. Okay. Um, Chris does have one. Uh, he pops out. Uh, battery for his Corona laser pistol and starts fiddling with it to try to jury rig a power source for this thing. All right. If you succeed on the engineering check, it'll provide enough power for one minute of work per charge in the battery. Okay. Draining those charges as time passes. Uh, that is a, that's a 29. 29. That's going to work. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Which console do you want to check out? Wait, tell me after the break. No. Oh, oh, it's a break! Oh. It's time for a break. <laughs> Frisk, you've had 45 minutes. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Which? <laughs> Your battery's gone. Uh, uh, the, uh, the northernmost server. Okay. Go over to the northernmost server, and uh, what'd you roll for? Uh, 29, yeah? Uh, yeah, for engineering. All right, so you're able to power it up with the battery. How many charges are left in the battery? 20. Okay. There are 20 total. 20 total. All right, so you're you're going to have some time here. Um, I'm, I'm not going to move in real time, otherwise it would be gone faster. But you see a router address hmm. near uh, this console. You do not see a router address on the other console. Anybody want to do anything? Uh, compare the router address we already have to this router address? They match. Excellent. Great. The thing that you found in the Maze of Ghosts and the thing that you found in the House of Renewal, those uh, router numbers came together and matched the one on the northern server. Hmm. So you want to try and so hack into the system now that you powered it up? Yes. Okay. Qualo. Good Before luck. he Dax, does that. guard the door. Dax is going to shoot the whole computer to pieces. Okay. <laughs> Just it's open up on it. The <laughs> only safe choice. <laughs> what are you doing? Go, 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 go. Stop, Everybody's stop. screaming his spark flying everywhere. Uh, <laughs> Callum sets it on fire. He's like, all right. <laughs> what? What? Callum, <laughs> with me now. We plan this during the 10 minute break. <laughs> <laughs> Can so I <laughs> do a perception on the room and the mold and the walls just to make sure there's nothing lurking while they're while yeah, sure. working? Yeah, sure. Roll your perception. Uh, Natty 18. Ooh. That's a 33. No wind in the room, and they're just weird moving back and weird. forth. Yeah, that's, uh, that's unsettling. Fingers. Stay that's away from the walls. Tiny fingers. Oh. <laughs> I haven't been touched like that in years, Troy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I'm sorry I used my <laughs> tiny fingers. Like <laughs> <laughs> does, uh, uh, does anyone else have want to aid me in this computer's check? Oh, if only PG sure. was here. Uh, Dax will do what he can. Uh, what is it? Is it 10 or 15, the DC to aid? I think it's 15. Is well, it 15? In Starfinder? Oh. Yeah, I think yeah. it is higher. Uh, it, if, I, if it's 10, I made it. If it's 15, I didn't. It is. I can aid as well. I mean, it doesn't ten. hurt, right? Ten. Yeah. All right, I made it. So plus oh. two. Okay. 10 for a plus two. So do it. You, you can oh, add I it can too. also? Yeah. Can you have up to two people aiding on a computer's check or 
Uh, it yeah. doesn't matter. Well, well I, I thought that was a one. Okay. No, but I don't do anything. It's kind of up to the GM. Okay. I can't aid. Up to two. We've, we've done I, I, I think it's basically like situational. Like there are some cases where it's like you can't have multiple people doing this. but you Yeah, could. but we've aided like four people have aided. So no, I know. It, it's situational. Situational, situational yeah. yeah. Here, up to uh, two people can aid. Yeah. But in this case, you just get one aid. Okay. And I, uh, I cannot because I'm not trained in computers at all. It's a train skill. Oh, it's a train skill. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you don't well, have any points in it. I oh, count. if you don't have any points. I forget how Starfinder works. Works. Yeah, yeah, but he doesn't know shit about so computers. Uh, <laughs> that's why David's here. David doesn't, there. though. David. How does he remember with all those beers? Hack <laughs> in Friss. Roll computer strike. Uh, David's just come on, hammered come on, come on. in the corner. <laughs> type, I'm, type, glad, type, type, I'm really type. glad I'm off camera. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just nodding off. He's just a mess. <laughs> vomit on his shirt. This <laughs> is his white shirt. And he keeps waking him up. She's like, come on, David. It's worse than Randy. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, oh, please. Uh, Don't say anything you can't take back. Friss, uh, Friss takes out his hacker's kit oh. and uh, does a quick uh, scouring of the data, data databases. That is a, with the aid from Dax, that's a 34 total. 34. Matthew, little hacking sounds. Ooh, hacking sounds. Who's your favorite? Don't let them come Just later. Pull let your, me, let me pull your keyboard up here. And beep, beep, boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Um, give us the uh, War Games theme. One of my pet peeves is always like uh, sci-fi dramas and uh, when they like punch the, the computer. Well, but also like software would not sound like that. It, like you would never have freaking animations to to like software. No, who would build that? Wait, but know? I love hackers in movies who are like. Like yeah, yeah. all over the keyboard. It's like, what are you, yeah, what are yeah, you yeah, doing? Well, that's why I like hacking in movies like pre 1996, <laughs> where it was just basically magic. Yeah. <laughs> it was like no one understood how the computers work, so they were just they could do anything and with with any, and they just yeah. Duh, 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 they put in the floppy disk. And they're like, we did it. Yeah. I will say though about the aliens. What I love with the alien movies is that the the interface of the machinery actually looks like. This is usable machinery, yeah. like yeah. Uh, as opposed to other sites. Right. Smoking or non-smoking. I know in, a, <laughs> <laughs> in early, in a lot of early '90s or late '90s sci-fi's, uh, they they use a lot of uh, musical computer equipment, like musical analog uh -huh. equipment. So if you look back and if you're familiar oh. with like modulators and uh -huh. like analog synthesizers it's just that like yeah. that's all it is the, for the production the, design something it. similar happened to me because I, I work in video production and uh in the hunger games at the cornucopia where everyone gets their weapons you know it's just filled with pelican cases amazing like the waterproof yeah. like equipment stuff they carry around things in and it like explodes at some point i'm like they just had this, that shit lying around, and they yeah. use it for props. Like, is this one empty? Let's yeah. go start an indie band. Yeah. <laughs> the production designer's like, right, take all the Pelican cases you can. Yeah. Empty ones. Put them on set. <laughs> quick, quick, quick. Um, so the 34. Hack yeah, you hack in, and you see that it looks like this server contains... Um, it actually looks like it holds, sends, and receives... Whatever this company was, their electronic communications, both internal and external, um, and would have allowed uh, access to Istamox Infosphere if it still existed. Um, but you're looking for. What are you looking for? The Ukrainian server. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. What, I mean, what are. You've been Rudy Giuliani this whole time? That's incredible. America's he rips mayor. Off his mouse yeah. mask. America's <laughs> mayor. What a twist. <laughs> Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> Start drooling. Oh my God. Oh, what a, God. Thank you for making it safe enough to have an Olive Garden in Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> I really appreciate that. Like, what, are, what are we actually looking the, for? The key card. Or the, yeah. oh, right, the, right. or the okay. administrator's code. Any yes. clue to continue the adventure. Yes. To, to <laughs> Good one, Ellie. <laughs> I, I, no, well, we're looking for a code that will, I think, open a security door into the foundry, right? Is the idea. Or into the admin's office if it's on the locations here. What yeah. is the information you have that you found uh, in uh, the Maze of Ghosts in the House of Renewal? Uh, message inside is investigating compromised entrances. XLT888 lock. Lock can be placed standby with an admin code. The temple found in the foundry might be the same. There may be a key card. Friss finds additional metadata in the voice that has half the router address, which is where we are now. All right, so Temple Found, Foundry, Admin Key Code. You have a specific lock you're looking for. So if you want to spend some more time, you can really dig in and see if there's any of that information. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use up. I'm going to spend this entire uh, load. You don't even need to because after three more full rounds of searching the directory, uh, there is none of that information on there. You're quick. Is oh. there anything to be found about the... 
you said something about crystals being within the temple found at some point. Mm. Sorry to interrupt, but um, that was uh, something else to research. Like, what would what would be in the temple found now that we know it's the foundry? If yeah. They, if they have now, then we know. <laughs> You're looking. There's none right. of that information. <laughs> Everybody, on. shut up. <laughs> All right. I made a mistake. <laughs> it won't be the last. No, no, no. It's not that you made a mistake. I, I made... It's that you thought everyone who disagreed with you was an idiot. <laughs> I did. Wait, yeah. what? What, 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 what was your deal? No, I just thought it was stupid that the temple found was the foundry. Thought that was stupid. Oh. <laughs> did you see how he said stupid? By the way, that's what I was talking about earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Stupid. You uh, see? You see how he talks to me? <laughs> if you ask uh, Frisk to look, he didn't see any information on crystals. What kind of information is there? The the information I just told you. And is there information about <laughs> Ishtamak that that is that is devoid of the way that the current inhabitants are interpreting it as like this religious type of place. Is there like the hall of presidents you walk through? Is there any more like unobfuscated information? No, it looks like whatever this business was, if it was Securitech, uh, you have no reason to believe that it wasn't now that you see that the routing addresses match up. This contained uh, the just the communications both within the company and within all of the other buildings that they worked with uh, on Middle East Uh <laughs> Is there anything on here that would suggest where we could find that information? No. Well, if so the, in, if the infosphere was still active, that would really help you, but it's not. Wait, but this is just the first server. Yeah, this is just the northern server, right? Yeah, it's just the northern server. Oh. And all the answers are in the southern server. <laughs> and that server. infosphere would have probably given you all the information that you right. see. Right. But this is just like, hey, John, I got your lock. It, it's coming. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> You're the best, Bob. Can't Pizza Friday? Pizza Friday? <laughs> D did someone eat my muffin out of the company fridge? That's right. All exactly. fridges will be cleaned out at 2 p.m. Yeah, reminder. It's just benign yeah. emails. Yeah. Like, yeah. Write your name your on your food. mustard. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we don't ever want a mold colony to take over this uh. place. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be the but end. John, our furniture will last for a million years. Chris. <laughs> Oh we just invested in some new furniture. Oh, yeah. We think this stuff is really going to last. We spent half of our budget on the, the cushions. But the salesman <laughs> said, the salesman said it now would it all last. Now. Are you now happy now, Skid? Yeah, no, no. Okay, that's all I wanted was a plausible explanation. <laughs> that was all that I wanted. All I wanted was the purchase order. That's all I ever wanted. I just want the receipts and the, the catalog entries Fris, that I can. Chris Chris leaves the podcast like Poochie does now. That yeah. he, he's satisfied with this go. information. My home planet needs me. What were you going to say, AC? I'm just. <laughs> Never mind. Hold on. But take a laughter break. <laughs> <sighs> Boys? Yes. Yeah, please. Um, could Dr. Friss search and see if there was any, like, protective measurements for security for this building? Or if there's, like, I don't know, like, dirty dealings? Or, like, if they had mm. some sort of measure? I just don't want to get shocked again by a big computer. No, I know. Yeah. Um, like, a defense mechanism. Do they have, like, that bad, though. countermeasures. I'm countermeasures, do sure. Uh, software that would hurt you. I don't yeah. know. I'm going to do a full search for the deleted emails. A Trojan. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> and you find nothing. <laughs> surprise, surprise. No email. Right. Have you guys thought about, like, Troy has the same name as a virus. Like, Troy. Troy Jones. Oh, yeah. Tro the Trojan. Yeah, Trojan. Yeah. How dare you. Yeah. Can you imagine if your name was Sparta? That would have been a cool Greek name. Sparta La Valley. Sparta would be a badass name. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Hold on. Let me just change well, my backup character. Troy. It'd be That's fun if you named your twins Sparta, because then they could be like, we are. Sparta. We are uh, Sparta. Sparta. Bum, 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 bum. Stupid. Another ad break. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. 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 Uh, Got it, guys. Want to check out that southern serve? Yes. Go to uh, uh, Chris. <laughs> Been waiting all night for that southern serve, dude. Oh. Chris, uh, Chris. Uh, <laughs> Matthew's shooting beer out of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, Chris, uh. <laughs> Chris uploads the MF Doom virus into it, discovers tracks, and he goes to the southern the MF one. MF Doom that virus. <laughs> very good. Uh. Um, all right, so you want to try and hack into this bad boy? Yeah. All right, this one is a solo job. So just I only I can do yeah, it. Yeah, okay. yeah. Solo bola. Oh, natty eighteen, thirty six. All right, so you are able to conk, conk, hack in. Oh, nice one, Matthew. That's good. You opened 
<laughs> the Western door. It's yeah. like something <laughs> decompressed. Right. You've accessed the computer, and you see that um, this one is a closed server. So whereas the northern server was going in and out, and that's why it was connected to the router, this probably contains more valuable information because it only stayed here. It's only got one cord leading to it on Sirenscape. The, others, the other one has three. Mm -hmm. Four. Bang. Four. Shadaisy. There's a couple firewalls. You want to try and get past those? Yeah. <laughs> Can we aid you with the computers? No. No? No. It's a solo, solo, solo job. mission. Okay. Okay. Solo mission. in the something southern Sorry. server. Something about this computer is like, it's just, it's... It it's needs tiny. To do yeah, it's it's, got it's really only tiny. mouse size. Oh, no, 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 you're right. to tiny fingers. <laughs> yeah. It's just oh, so you got a really, really tiny fingers. <laughs> How cute. It's coded to rat DNA. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's going to crack his little rat knuckles and just start typing like mad. Ooh, that is a 30. 30. You're all right. You get past the firewall. Oh. Sweating. <sighs> Dax is looking over his shoulder. Well done, Doctor. Uh, the one thing I forgot to have you do was hook up your battery to this to charge it up. But oh, I, I assumed I was doing yeah, that. Yeah, then you would have got that. It's fine. Uh, easy computers check for you. You hack in. You get past the firewall, and you start searching. And you see the name of that lock. That oh. XLT88? XLT88 show up and an admin key code. Yes! Oh, wow. For oh, that lock. Yes! And you see the words Foundry. Oh. oh. Somebody write it down. <laughs> I see. It's got carbo tone. Dax commits it to memory. You open up that file and you see that like this admin key code is to the Foundry security entrance. Basically, there's a certain combination of keys that can be pressed simultaneously, and it'll put the digital lock at the Foundry into maintenance mode, making it possible to disable the lock wow. without knowing the current key code. Is it up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, maybe start? It would have been changed every month, okay. so this allows you to bypass that. Ah. You now have that information. Cool. No, but that sounds kind of like a piano, like having down like the right chord down, right? Like having What's a bunch pressed at yeah. the same time. What's the movie where we're doing that opens the... It's a... Uh, He-Man Masters the Universe. Or Batman Begins when they get into... They oh. use the piano to open up the yeah. door to the Batman. Yes. Oh, right, right. I right. forgot about that. The Masters Universe, they had that weird MacGuffin. It was like... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? We saw the uh, Dolph Lundgren, no, Frank do, Langella. No, do the noise again. Maybe I'll remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I actually yeah, yeah, played a song. Yeah. Nobody watched He-Man and Master Universe? I've never seen it. Fucking no. crazy. Frank, Frank Langella is and kind of terrifying. Skid was out of college by the time He-Man came yeah, out. I, yeah. <laughs> I only saw the cartoon. He-Man was long dead. I only saw the He-Man yeah. cartoon. <laughs> Me too. Oh, that was live action? Oh, I've only oh, seen yeah. the cartoon. It's great. It was a sweet play to He-Man? Was it? Was it? Dolph Lundgren, yeah. <laughs> They're rebooting uh, He-Man. They are? Yeah. And the Netflix, right? Of On Netflix. the universe. Yeah. I wonder who will play him, because Henry Cavill already got Witcher role, so. Oh, uh, it's an animated, but. Oh, never mind. Frank Langella, Troy's bathroom friend. <laughs> That's Henry right. Cavill's great look. <laughs> Don't even deny it, Joe. bathroom buddy. Uh, <laughs> He's so hot, but it also, yeah. Here's the thing. Frank Just asking Langella. her to keep it together for the stream. That's all. <laughs> yeah. Here's the thing. Frank Langella is actually legitimately a good actor and was probably really good in He Man Master. And here's that the was thing. the thing. That's, That's the, the thing. thing. No, but what is Thanks, the thing? So what do you guys do? <laughs> well, let's, right. cre let's clear out the fog, the, thing, of, sure. fog of war. No, that was it. Troy, what was the thing? That was the thing. Troy. That Frank Langella was a really good actor. <laughs> no, I'm yes. kidding. Uh, after you find the key code, suddenly something strange happens. <gasps> uh -oh. The filaments on the wall. Oh, come on, come here on. they go. That were like weirdly oh. rippling, even though there's no air in there, begin to ripple as if they're caught in a strong breeze. And they quickly coalesce into a swarm on the floor. Oh, no. Oh, come oh. on. That covers Fuck. Kreska and Callum's space. Oh, what? Oh. What? Roll for initiative. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, god. Oh, there's nothing worse. There's nothing worse than swarms, man! Oh. <laughs> Terrible. This is bad news. Bears. Um, let me just find my Anish here. <laughs> but it's super high. It is now. Grant. Every time. <laughs> Grant, you okay? <laughs> what a 
does that even mean? I, I'm just worried about you. It is not. I'm worried about me, too. I didn't roll great for initiative. Kreska gets into sticky wickets all the time and somehow gets out, but I don't know about this young man. Well, now that he, now that Callum has armor, I'm, like, less worried, but... Uh, Finally tailored armor, and thanks to Dr. Friss, by the way. Thank you again. Callum goes, thank you again, as he's getting <laughs> swallowed up by... <laughs> You yeah. look smashing. <laughs> Doctor, Friss, just tell before them. I died, I wanted to say thank you. <laughs> Pulled into the swarm. Tell them Friss of Civil Row sent you. <laughs> the <laughs> angels? I'm dying. What? <laughs> Talk to Friss. What'd you get? Uh, 17. 17 for Friss. Callum. 12. 12. Linnea. 25. 25. Captain K. 5. <laughs> 5. Gross. Dax. 15. 15 for Dax. Quattro. Sweet 16. Sweet. Oh. Don't say that so that creepy. way. That's so, so gross when you say it that way. You were creditor, what? man. Nasty. Oh. You guys are creeps. Sweet. You're oh, a yeah, creep. Sweet. You guys are <laughs> Not creeps. Grant. Not Grant. Quattro. Here's what happens. Quattro is fine. This is effectively a, a surprise round as this swarm uh, gathers under Kreska and Callum's feet and... A couple of things are going to happen here to I both of thought them. Thought they might. Oh, it's just—it's just so bad. They are on your space, and you just automatically take damage. Give me a second. I don't—I never know where I put my d10s. No save. Uh, no, no save. No, unfortunately. Oh, where are all my? Where's a d10 when you need it? Am I right? Don't give him. Ellie, put that d10 back. Don't give it to him. <laughs> no, I, I don't know why I'm even. <laughs> oh, why would you even consider? She's like, know. here, take take more. How many? <sighs> this is. This is crazy. You both take 20 points of damage. Oh. I need both of you roll a fortitude save. Uh, let me see. Is it fortitude uh, yeah. for the fortitude first needs- thing? Yes, fortitude, fortitude. save. That's the yep. For the first thing. Yeah, let's start with the... Uh, That's the 17. Fortitude is definitely the 21. Season. 21? All right. All right. What about old Callum? Uh, also an Addy 17. Oh! 21. Oh, yeah. wow, dude. Oh, nice, Callum. All also right, 21? so you seem to be okay oh, from thank, that, was a, I bet that you that was thing. Thing. I bet you that yeah. was an enormous was save. Yep. Uh, but it was. Like Ellie said, I bet you what about the disease other? or poison. What about the second oh. thing? Yeah. Oh, wait, second hold on. Thing. Wait, one question real quick. Is it disease oh. or paralysis or poison? Or a spell uh, like or a That particular thing was... It is not. Not, no. Well, never mind. Okay. Oh, never mind then. But is this it, one is. Roll another fortitude. <laughs> no! Is it, does, does this have a, a fear? Is this a fear-based effect? No, but you'll be afraid if you fail to save. Yeah, I had a feeling. But this one is disease? Yes. Natural two. Oh, oh Captain, no! Matthew, you've been rolling rocks all night, and now? Now? All right, wait. On hold this on. one? Oh. oh, wait. Did she fail too? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. I Do it right. No, 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 hold on, wait, wait. Do it right. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay. Do it right. Wait, wait, wait. <coughs> Let's not Do it right the wait, first no, time. I'm trying to read this. Oh god. I rolled a, I rolled a 16. Total? Total. But. Did I do, did I pass? Did, did I, I do that? <laughs> did I, I, do that? I have something, I have something that I can use to re-roll a save. Okay. But I want to make sure I fail. Do you get to know the result? It doesn't you... tell me that. Mm. It actually doesn't David. say. Usually, you alternate have to outcome: dis- supernatural ability once per day. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So as a reaction, I can basically re-roll, and something from an like alternative reality comes into place. So it's as if I had rolled differently. Does it, and it just say that you have to take the second result? It doesn't say anything. Yeah. Uh, it just it, says it as also a reaction. Says, it also says you can reduce. A crit, oh. like to a normal hit, for you or any ally within a hundred feet. That's amazing. Oh, wow. that so I'm trying to see nuts. if I could use it for Kreska. If there's like a crit, or if I should use it for myself to reroll mine. May if I do better. May I ask, is it a class or an ancestry? It's a class, I believe. Oh, yeah. Wow, class. that's cool. Yeah. Oh, it does say a you or an ally. Yeah. yeah. But for the crit, not for the reroll of the save. Uh, oh. Yeah, that's in, what I was. Sorry, Kreska. Figure it out. That's the end. If Kreska, you get, yeah, the seas is awful. You failed, Callum. You passed. Kreska, oh, okay, you are latent with a disease. <sighs> oh no, oh, Cap. Oh. For those of, those of you just tuning in, that's awful. And I I feel like I've had every disease in this universe. Yeah, <laughs> you've been heavily afflicted <laughs> in yeah. this universe. Um, I need to know what kind of disease is so I can put it on my, uh, my hero lab. Let's get physical. Physical. Okay. I want to get physical. It's physical disease. Yeah. Let's get into So I didn't use my ability, I just want to say. Wait, physical. Let's get critical. 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 
I wanna, wanna get physical, critical. Physical disease is exactly what PG had as well, right? That was on the physical. I trip. think that's what Void Death was, which is what Captain K got long time ago. It's on kicking the in grade. already. Matthew's dying. <laughs> it's kicking already. Yes. Are you okay, Matthew? I think that I'm was right. also when Matthew was uh, very attuned to the music of the spheres. Yes. I can't do Matthew's voice. Let's go to round one. Your allies oh. are in bad shape. God, and it's it's Linnea's turn. Right, but I only see like a cloud. You just see that this mold has coalesced on the floor and uh, is devouring your partners. Oh my god. Um, I think I'm gonna actually hold till no. Friss can tell me what the hell this is and how to attack it properly. That's uh, very smart. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Well, good thing because it is Dr. Friss's turn. All right. Oh, Friss. Uh, Friss is going to do a life science check to see what this thing is. Okay. Oh, God, that's a natty two. Uh, so that is a 27. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Oh, what wait. Uh, I was like, I was ready to say. Oh, oh, 25, 25. Uh, t- <laughs> what is the, <laughs> I, I don't get it at, at all. Like, what, is it an operative thing that you just get a huge bonus to skills? Well, you told me, because I normally get, it's a, it's a well, five, the DC for me for life science is five less. It's part but of you said, stop doing that. And add just add five to your roll. But there gotcha. is actually a reason. There is a difference, Skid. I, I looked this up Uh-oh. since our last show. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, oh no, boy. It, it, in practice, it go. doesn't matter. But you can't, uh, if you're untrained in a skill check, you can't get past a DC of 10 untrained. It's like in Pathfinder. Oh. So by dipping the DC by five, it's different. You might oh, be able to okay. do it untrained. But effectively, untrained. in your case, because you're it trained, doesn't matter. it doesn't matter. It's right. Right. Oh, okay. Well, okay. that does make sense. Would you consider this easy, challenging, or uh, difficult, David? Uh, probably challenging. Challenging, so that's 15 plus one and a half times the CR of nine. CR of nine. Uh, so, would you roll 25? 25. So, you won't got be it. enough. Fuck. Damn. Could be 28. So, he doesn't get any information? Oh, one and a half. One right. and a half. Yeah. yeah. One and a half. Nine. I'm thinking 24. Nope. You don't know. He knows it's a nasty <gasps> mold. Well, you score. rolled a natural two. So yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Even though, yeah, you're so smart. But uh, so, oh. Linnea, your gambit did not pay off. However, it's still Friss's turn. Um, Friss is. I think he's going to pop out his Corona pistol from his sheath and take a shot at this. Okay. Or, you know. Go ahead and fire. Um, that is a 15 against EAC. It doesn't even look like it did anything, yeah. It's just a, all the... This takes up a 10-foot uh, square here. Uh, it's pretty nasty. Frisk does nothing. Uh, do you want to move, Frisk, or did you move? I did not move. I'm going to... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and move uh, next to Dax, like between Dax and Callum. Okay. Uh, very good. Now it is Linnea's turn. Linnea, you, you waited to see if Frisk could figure this out, and, and he's just, he's, he's not he's not figuring it out. <clears throat> just so you know, we can't see their names, by the way, so people that might not know who they are, Callum and uh, Linnea, the new ones. Oh, okay. Just FYI. Um, okay. Um, I am the one who's standing uh, ne- to the east of the... Uh, of the uh, of the room, like I'm the one in the mold. Yeah, <laughs> I'm the one dying yeah. in the mold. Help! But no, so so <laughs> help. The, Can you put a little quote <laughs> box that just says help, help. over Cal? <laughs> a little speech, no, a little think bubble. He's like, I'm thinking about saying help, but it's not my turn yet. <laughs> right. So. Um. So um. I so these, these with those fifteen did nothing against this cloud. Uh, these, you said. Oh no, sorry. You, you don't know what you, he you, rolled. Oh, you, yeah. we don't it, know what you rolled. Yeah. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're like, uh, that looked to be about a 15. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I did nothing. The power reason, behind that. <laughs> sorry, for some reason I thought he rolled, he shot it and he got a 15. Oh, oh, oh. And I thought that didn't do anything. But so I was thinking, should I also shoot it and see if I can get higher? Right, try to get a 16. Uh, <laughs> but I think we should fucking leave the room then. Like, I think we should get out of here because. Is that what you say? No, but I, that's what I think. But Linnea is a little stupid, so she's going to shoot at it and she try not to She starts dancing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Take that, oh, I am a battle dancer. Having fun. 
Dancing in the streets, come on and do it. By the way, that's not how she, like, that's not her dance, by the way. She's not like a Broadway actor. You see a sign in the wall that says no dancing. Yeah, it's like a dance of death. It's like more like Donkey Kong dance, like boom, boom, boom. Okay. A fucking Maori. But yeah, so she's going to shoot at it, but not not hit Callum, obviously. Shoot at it, but not miss. All right. That's what you got. You see what you got. Straight through the eyes. Ooh, Natty 19! Yeah! Awesome! And that's a 29 against whatever, man. Against a swarm. It does nothing. Yeah, I knew it. Cool, but still. Yeah. Good shot. What Good a waste. shot. <laughs> <laughs> Slow mo <laughs> aims in at the swarm. <laughs> and she pulls some water from the ceiling. <laughs> <laughs> How quickly uh, that became a joke. <laughs> It is Qualo's turn. Qualo, you've seen Frisk fire nothing. You've seen Linnea uh, get definitely better than a 15 and nothing. What do you do? Oh, Jesus. Uh, Qualo is going. Actually, you don't see shit. You're on the other side of the room there. <laughs> yeah, Qualo's going to first move up to see what is going on here. And find... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Have your fucking fun, Troy. Have your fucking fun. <laughs> What's <laughs> getting <laughs> on? Uh, so uh, Qualo sees this, uh, attunes himself <laughs> to, let's say, the graviton. What? what? Mysteries oh, of yay. the universe. Wait, for some wait. Wait, say again. Graviton. It's a it's a solar solarium power. Yeah, it's a you can either basically you align yourself to either the positive or negative parts <laughs> of the universe and it gives you different powers. Although I believe you can still use powers, but you when are, you're attuned anyway. Okay. You're such a loser. <laughs> no. Uh, sorry, go ahead. It's mad you drunk. Uh, this is happy. So as part of that move action, <laughs> he's smiling for once. I have a question for David actually. Yeah. <laughs> as part of the move action, I can draw a weapon. I yeah. I am multi limbed. Can I draw two weapons as part of a move action? Mm, that's a good three question. arms. Because uh, I'd like to pull out the laser pistol that the captain gave me, so I could take a shot as well. But it doesn't help. Don't what? shoot it. Wait, can't yeah, you I mean, hold two guns even if you have two arms, two small arms? Oh right. I guess shooting it won't help at all. So it doesn't matter. I think oh, we need okay. to look at area of effect. You, you yeah, definitely please. can get one out, that's for sure. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just like a movie where like three main characters shoot at it and clearly nothing's you happening. The fourth character's like, I'll shoot it too. Yeah. yeah. Hand, hands off the chess piece. Yeah. I'll I'm going. I'm going. I'm going back to my my regular uh, uh, positron mode. Yeah. I don't uh, know why. Like that's the only thing that's going to hurt it. The idea that <laughs> I the idea that, that I had was to <laughs> this use is what I was thinking. <laughs> so I have a I have a black hole ability to suck them into exactly. me to get everyone out. I thought that could be pretty cool. No, I get it. But, but I don't I think, think anyone else has you, area of effect. You're the only one that me. can do that. That's damage. You don't you, have grenades. But you would also. Yeah, but I mean, but they're so small compared to right the supernova. But also, if you yeah. drag them in, you would also drag in Kreska and Callum. True. Uh, so it's yeah. Worth it. So, so <laughs> I'm it's worth it. Save yourself. <laughs> I'm aligning myself to the uh, uh, photon uh, uh, parts of the universe, and I will. Um, I'll put on my corona. I'll use my standard action to put on my corona, which will damage the swarm should it attack me. Hopefully, <laughs> my <out> corona. corona. <laughs> 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 Find your beach. This is not, this back. not the time, beach. Qualo. Uh, <laughs> you look over. He's using his third arm to stuff a line. There. <laughs> <laughs> Stuffs a flower in it. Uh, Dax, you're up. Uh, yeah, Dax is going to pull a small metallic little uh, grenade off of his belt. And get ready to arm it. And yeah. he's just like, step away from the swarm uh, <laughs> to Callum and Kreska. So he's just like, okay, get out of the way. And he's like, ready to throw a grenade at it. And <laughs> he's going to ready an action. Right. If both of them are clear of the swarm, he's going to throw a I grenade. I love the fact that a grenade in a in an enclosed room, I yeah, mean, what it's, the we're going to die. <laughs> it's five feet. Only, only well, I realize that's, that's a five foot because radius. the physics oh, okay. of this universe doesn't make sense. Yeah, I get it. No, grenades. No, they have, they have a very small, like, lethal Well, but area. if you're in a room. And they go off. Well, if you're, yeah. well this I is. I mean, if you're in a, if you're in an outhouse, or if it's it like a frag grenade or something. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is also <laughs> an incendiary grenade. Like it's the like fire the only the has so the much. The pressure of a grenade. On Veterans Day, I read about a, 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 a veteran that uh, jumped on a grenade twice, survived both times, and then jumped out of an airplane. His parachute didn't open, and he survived that. My Look God. it up. It's incredible. It's an incredible story. He should never gamble again. Yeah, I hope. How or do maybe you survive jumping on a grenade, like a real grenade. Uh, it just it didn't, didn't hit the vital off. organs. The shrapnel went in the right, the perfect areas. Wow. 
Anyway, continue. Yeah. All right, so yeah. so he has a grenade. In so I'm ready in action. Okay, grenade. if Chris and Callum River clear of the swarm, I'm going to throw a, a grenade at it. Okay. Uh, well, it is its turn, and it stays. Wait. I thought it just. Oh, it had a, a surprise, surprise attack. Damn surprise, it. John. Surprise! <gasps> surprise, it goes again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's going to stay in that spot and deal some more automatic damage to Kreska and Callum. Again, let me just find those D10s. Callum's well, like, do you think oh. you would have put them in a, a oh, spot to remember? Two D10s, a 10 and a 9. I mean, I. That's so I've called. been rolling 2d10 with my weapon the entire time I've had this new weapon, like in this part of the book. I've never rolled a Rocks. 9 and a 10. Rocks. 28 points of damage. Whoa. Roll oh. a fortitude save for the first bad shit. Come on, come on. God. Uh, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to use a, spend a resolve point. <laughs> oh, oh, oh I bet you are. Uh, wait, where am I looking? Callum got a 17. Does that pass? You're all right. All right. Oh, no, I don't need to use this. Uh, Callum is crushing it right now. Callum's on fire. But still just, taking a lot just wait. of damage. Yeah, he's not looking great. I don't need to do a resolve point for it, but it's. I get, I'm going to use my certainty to activate to uh, add a plus two to one of my skill checks. I still only roll 12. <sighs> Unfortunately, that is a fail. You... Oh, man. You are distracted by this thing because it's so gross the way it's just like oozing and you feel it like slipping into your little, oh. uh, little holes in your spacesuit. Oh, gross. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> uh, and what a terrible spacesuit. I know. You really <laughs> yeah. need to get that fixed. There really shouldn't be any holes. There shouldn't yeah. be holes <laughs> in your spacesuit. Yeah. In the pressure suit. You can talk to me later. I can <laughs> pat that up immediately. Yeah, seriously. You are nauseated for one round. Oh, mm. oh no. That means oh. oh, wait. You can move, I think. Uh, yes. You can, not, you can just move. Yes. Can't right. attack, can't cast spells, concentrate on spells, or do anything requiring attention. A but can move. Single, single move. Okay. Single move. Uh, can and I take now, a free action to speak? Sure. I was asking. Oh, okay. Uh, Callum, roll a fortitude save. Uh, Again? Yes, because uh, oh, you're not immune. To, uh, David, she's not. Uh, uh, Callum's not immune to the disease, right? No, I don't believe no, so. No, I just get a plus when rolling towards things that have disease and a bunch of other stuff for Alice. Okay, poison. yeah, I didn't know where you already saved on it if you became. I think, yeah, it's just more spores. Yeah, more spores, sorry. So Good the bad. first one I save, that's fine. This that's is fine. a new one. Yeah. Okay. He, uh, Kreska already, already has sick. the disease. Yeah. Oh, I if see. If it was a poison, Kreska would just keep going down the track yeah. if she failed again. But I see, okay. Disease, once you get it, you're fucked. Damn it. Um, uh, that's that's not going to do wait, it. Wait, do you I? want that alternate outcome? I don't know if I should do that now. Oh, diseases are so deadly. All right, all right, I'm going to do it. I'm going to take my alternate outcome so you see you see the moment happen and you see like Callum start to get attacked by it and get sick and then all of a sudden when you blink a new outcome happens like wow. it's as if like a time shift let's that see if is I so cool let's see if I do any better oh no oh, you didn't no. was it the naturalist of ones yeah oh, oh. oh. are you are you kidding me? <laughs> you sick. Cool. No, it's great. So Callum doesn't. Sick. Callum's like, I'll pull from another reality. Don't worry. And then he uh, pulls from a worse. This is the darkest timeline. <laughs> yes, yeah, pulls from a Joe this O'Brien is of, reality. This is one of the 13,999,999 outcomes Doctor Strange saw where they, well, I don't want to ruin. But yeah, you, know, you know what? Role playing wise, I don't have a lot of control over these, like, these abilities yet. So he tries to do this thing that maybe he's done once before in his life. And he fucks it completely. Makes it worse. Makes it worse. Well, now you are diseased as well. That's uh, cool. And there's no, uh, that's only second edition where the fumbles are two. Yeah. Okay. Wait, yeah. do I get a fan fumble? Because I, no, I don't. No, it's, it's, just, it's just really shitty for Thought you. that'd be funny. Your character. Uh, you are latent with this uh, disease from this swarm. Oh. Not good. Do oh, I? God. But I don't get more damage, right? No, not yet. Um, just the 28 that I already gave you. Oh, God. But hey. It's your turn. Yep. Uh, so, Gallum. <laughs> oh, man, I had a. All okay. right. What so, reality are you going to tap into now? Uh, <laughs> just going to stick in this one. Um, <laughs> Callum is going to move past Kreska. Uh, he's going to move towards the doorway over here, just up to the doorway in the north that we came in. Okay. And as he moves past Kreska, he's going to kind of like scoot her out of the way with his two hands. Mm -hmm. Uh, and he casts uh, Remove Condition Lesser as he does it. 
Oh. No. On Kreska. All right, so you know, are no longer nauseated. No longer nauseated, right? That's wait, fair. nauseated um, shouldn't be a lesser condition. You remove think. any of the... Oh, wait, maybe this doesn't like do anything. Sick, it's like sickened. And Shaken, sickened, or staggered. You're none of those things. Yeah. No. Well, okay, he doesn't do that then. Okay. Oh. Uh, the nauseated is one of them. So wait. Is it? Remove condition? This is Remove this condition lesser. lesser. Oh, this is lesser, sorry. Yeah, All the right. second level spell remove condition includes nauseated. So he doesn't do that. Never mind. Thanks for trying. Yeah, maybe he could do something else. Give me one sec. I had that cool idea. That was a cool idea. Oh, so frustrating. So many cool ideas. It would have been great. Like... It would have been really great for the show. And, <laughs> and for me. And for, for me. me. It would have been a really like, meaningful moment, too, for between me personally. our characters. It would have been a yeah, great character building moment. Really. Right. Uh, oh, okay. So instead, he's going to leave, and then uh, he is going to cast his little fun cantrip uh, that he tried to cast before, and oh. he's going to do some acid rain Oh, oh nice. the mold. Ooh. Acid rain that could on be the good. mold. Wait, from and a, Kreska? From a distant, no, from the further up square. Like the far right so corner. So it just has a five foot. Yeah. Okay. Okay, the acid rain. All right, and that just automatically deals damage, or does it get a save? It gets a save, the... a reflex. I don't know if it has a brain. Okay, what's the DC of the save? A 12. Um, acid rain, acid acid rain. Acid rain. We got this. It's mold. We DC got 12? Yes, sir. Okay. Does this mold have a brain? Um, David, it, it has a reflex save, so I'm assuming that I get to roll it, right? I believe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah just, of course it does. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's because it's not targeting really a single thing. It's an area of rain. It probably would apply. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to roll the reflex save huh. and get it with a 30. Oh, uh, whoa. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, it's a so. swarm. It's a Got lots, of, lots of little legs there. Yeah. Well, actually, no, no legs at all. It's mold. Um, yeah, just oh, whoa, you so see it like horrible. dart out of the way of the rain. Oh, damn it. Uh, moves, like a fish. Moves with uh, moss like intensity. Uh, moving right along, it is Kreska's turn. Kreska, you are nauseated. You can only take a move action, which is what you need to get out of here. I'm kind of in a bad way. Yeah, you sure are. The fall back. Uh, and Kreska is going to move out of the room. Out of the room. Lead, okay. lead everybody out of the room. All right, bold move. So you zip past Callum, past the open door into the uh, previous room where you got shocked. Yeah. Okay. Got a lot of fond memories about this room, too. Yep. Uh, all right, then. It is a new round. And uh, Dax is going right now. Oh, you're going to take your turn now? Yeah. Didn't you ready an action to throw a grenade? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. because they got out of the way. That's right. Okay, go for it. So he heaves the grenade. Boop, boop. Throws it into the center of this uh, swarm. Okay. So I don't. I, I'm trying to look up the rules for targeting. I think it's AC five. I it, think it's yes. a really low AC. It is right? DC five to hit the square. All right, come on, buddy. <laughs> Here we go. Just, Only a natural one. Just don't roll a natural one. You're fine. Uh, okay, there we go. Twenty. 20. So okay. uh, right on target, and it's an incendiary grenade. Ooh, perfect. So, <laughs> let's see fire. Let's try a little fire, scarecrow. Boom, boom. Uh, and that. So that is. Uh, eight points of damage, and you need to, need to do a reflex save. Okay. Eight points of fire if it takes any fire 31, damage. Thirty-one uh, reflex. Jesus, but man, reflex it, it does thing. take an extra fifty percent of damage. It does. Yes. 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 It's a swarm. Yeah. So uh, what was it? Eight. You said eight. So it'll take twelve. Twelve points of damage. Not too shabaru. Bad for Daxaroo. Wait, but it made the save. Yeah. So half. Yeah. So. No. 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 The 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 save is just for. Additional effects. Oh. Yeah. oh, I got you. Okay. Yeah, another one d six and another and one d four burn. Uh, no, I'm sorry. Yeah, a one, another one d six and an and one d four burn. If it fails the reflex. If it fails the but reflex. It yeah. Okay. All right. So Dax strikes first. As far as I know, you could double check me on that, Blood? but I don't think it's half damage on a save. Um. All right. So good move for Dax. Now it's the top of the new round. It's Dr. Friss's turn. Dr. Friss. Fr did you say there was an, a second firewall? Uh, oh. No. Didn't no. I that was it. That I got, was all, it. Yeah, the, got, all, I got the all the information. Didn't I go before Friss? Yeah, but you just waited to see what he would do, and then he didn't do anything, and so then you went. But that was the last round. You it moved. Stays yeah, yeah but now you move after him. Oh, forever. crap. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize that. Um, yeah. yeah. Well, I, yeah, I guess he's pretty convinced that he doesn't have anything that he can do because he can't even identify this thing. Right. So, and uh, Captain gave the order to get out. 
so he is going to double move like around it. Which and, way? To the left? Uh, to yeah, to the east and around the northernmost server. Okay, because um, you'll have to walk through its square if you go that way, right? Yeah. I'm, not, I'm not going that way. Oh, okay. I'm you not going north. I'm going, I'm going west. I said west. I thought you said east. Okay. No. Yeah, I'm going west. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm going to walk don't. right through the middle of the square. <laughs> I'm going right. to slam my face repeatedly <laughs> into the easternmost wall. <laughs> now I'm going to go around the northernmost uh, server okay. uh, away from it and go out the door. Okay. Great. Uh, yeah, Chris has got crazy movement, so he gets out of there with ease. Uh, okay, it is Linnea's turn. Right, um, following uh, Friss and also telling Callum, come with me. Um, so I'm going to double move and also get out of there. How many feet of movement do you have? Uh, 60 feet, I think, if I double move. Can you get 60? How far can you get? Right. Uh, math. Count it. <laughs> That's not math. She's good. <laughs> you get right to Dr. Friss's square, but you can't occupy his square. All right, so I'll... I'll Actually, uh, no, you you don't get all the way out of the room. N- I stand here. I stand here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Fuck. Uh, oh <laughs> no! All right, so I'll get as far as I can. Okay, so you. But can she gets two diagonals in that, so she should be fine. Right? Oh, you can't diagonal around a the corner there with that. Yeah, server, you can't so. diagonal around the corner. So she can either be matter. to the left of Callum or to the south of Callum. Yeah, I'll be uh, to the left of Callum, waiting for him to get out first because she does not abandon her prodigy. Okay, I, I, I like it. She can get out the door with one diagonal. I don't want to belabor this, but you can do it. I just counted it, but, uh, I mean, this is very important here. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Oh, yeah, you're right. You could you could get right to here. Good call, Kreska. Good call. Um, or do you want to stay next to your Callum? Said <laughs> you already <laughs> gave a really inspiring. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah it's too late. Uh, uh, on, on second yeah, thought. Yeah, Callum's like, wow, they, where are you going? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The captain's so like, I think you're going to get out. <laughs> Quali, you're up. <laughs> Best of luck. <laughs> I was made just for this moment. If it's made out of cob and I can kill it, and he double moves directly into the swarm. No, oh, no. Oh, that's Whoa. right. Oh, you're such a badass, Let's dude. see you right after this ad break. Oh, oh what a time oh, for a break. God. Oh, man. And Joe has <laughs> left the show. <laughs> this is oh. Oh. Hey, everybody. That's, oh, a good, wow. that's a good joke. That's a good joke. Hold on, let me do good it. impression. Please. Sound let really dumb. Let me try again. Billy, <laughs> <Can't>, let's <laughs> stupid. Let me try again. What is going on? Whoa. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm seeing double him. Is that, old jo- is that Joe O'Brien over there? Four Joe's. <laughs> did you see Sydney. did you see what I did? <laughs> How dare you. Were you there for that? <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> was it good? Uh, that was good. I if I didn't know, if I had my eyes closed, I would have thought that was old Joe O'Brien in that chair. <laughs> for the listeners at home, <laughs> that was me. Oh. <laughs> oh. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Qualo, you Joey ran directly in. Double moved, in fact. Just double moved into the swarm space. Now, David, correct me if I'm wrong. He, he's not going to take any damage now, right? It's where the swarm's turn ends, I believe. I think so. Yeah, if, I mean, I'm looking at swarm traits here, and I'm pretty sure, uh, you know, it, now maybe this, the swarm doesn't get an attack of opportunity in this case. Nope. Um, so I think that you're okay to do whatever I, uh, weird thing you want to do. I just see, like, as his four legs uh, entered the swarm, at the two front ones being mechanical, just the mold beginning to crawl up the sides of his legs, and he's, like, staring down with two eyes at it and one back at the door seeing... Callum, Linnea, and the rest of his crew behind him, and he just says, I'll take care of this. He'll take care of this. It's his turn. And that's your turn. Okay. Just waiting waiting to charge up the old supernova. I do see here it says... Uh, yeah, but, end of its turn. End of its turn. Yep. It's its turn. Oh, no. Qualo, buddy. Qualo, it's going to move, unfortunately. What? It's going to move right on top of Linnea and Callum. What? Squire. What is it sentient? Blocking. Is it smart? It's because Blocking it's played the by exit to the room. Mr. T. <laughs> Mr. T. Mr. T. Let's Mr. Roll. T. and the women. Let's get the uh, let's get the details out Dr. here. T the no, room. no. Oh my God, no, Callum. <sighs> Not bad. Okay. Uh, More of a joke. Joe roll. 14 points of damage. Oh. I need you both to roll a fortitude save. This is not a disease. <sighs> let's get Linnea sick too. Um. 15. Nauseated. I rolled down. <laughs> are, you, are you in character right now? <laughs> uh, I rolled a Callum, whatever. Callum just goes, I don't. 
I don't feel well. I rolled a nine. <laughs> also oh. nauseated. Uh, you're already sick, yes? So Linnea roll another fortitude save against this disease. Oh no. Oh, it's, oh my God. It's a Joe. It's a Joe. Oh, it's a Joe. It's a Joe. It's a Joe. 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 On a disease. Oh. On a disease. There we go. Captain uh, K, Callum, and Linnea all sick from this mold swarm. Bad. And on top of that, now Linnea and Callum can only move on their next turn. And they're, uh, and Qu poor Qualo uh, can't go Nova. Qualo I mean, is. Qualo well, can go Nova. He well, if he had done the Graviton, which I thought was a cool idea, he could have pulled it back now after but, they moved But you would have said, but you said that a. Uh, it, it would, would have pulled pull you, you too. too. Right. After mm. we move out now, he could have pulled it back. But you can't right, but move, after you move out now. Of yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. they can move. But after you move out now, he can do can, supernova yeah, and I'll, burn I'll, it. I'll hold my action. I hope, I hope you burn it. I think it'll be enough. If ifs and buts were candies and nuts, <laughs> can I get can only I, one of can you? Can everyone throw me a, a D8 so I can roll it, not through Google, just yep. when it happens, if I live yeah. to that point? Um, Troy, I have a question for you. I'll um, up. when. When we are diseased, yes. what do we do? We add anything until you tell us what you're the disease just latent right now. Is? So uh, Wait, until D6, the next frequency it? of the disease, then you would roll again to see if you start taking penalties. If you I fail, see. then it start you it's get latent the weekend. It's awful. It's I remember bad. this from Void Death time yep. when everybody was getting it. It wasn't fun. It's not oh. great. Not great, Bob. Wasn't, wasn't <laughs> Matthew he... basically didn't play <laughs> yeah. like four <laughs> episodes. Yeah, you can really take a break. <laughs> I mean, at the it was table. Yeah. it was nice. funny when you were just floating through space and everyone would like bump you along because you <laughs> couldn't move. Hey, I, we, I believe I used, that was when I invented the uh, fire extinguisher jetpack. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. very yes. good. I remember listening to that. that we a talked about like why, how diseases just seem so much worse in Starfinder than they did in Pathfinder and how that seems thematically appropriate for science fiction more than Right, like fantasy. Yeah, sure. right. disease, like space diseases. Yeah, that's horrifying. like more like the most horror science fiction is like some kind of infection disease. Yeah. Bad news. This thing is, uh, it's really, really positioned itself perfectly. <laughs> uh, it's going to be Callum's turn. Callum, you're nauseated. You can only move. And I can only take a single move action? Yes. yes. Yeah, man, that's really, that's uh dang. Just come back. <laughs> Deeper into the room. <laughs> I'm going to cut. Yeah, I think I'll go to the farthest corner. Um, <laughs> Whimper. I think I can do this. Can I can, I'm moving out of the room. I'm just seeing how far I can go. Mm -hmm. uh, What's your speed? 30. I can go one more. Okay. All right, so you're trying to zip out of there. Yep. Zippity doo da. Zippity doo. And I'm clenching my tummy. I got a tummy ache. Oh. All right. Are so you, you doing guys... core work while you're there? Just trying to get it real tight? No, I don't feel well. Okay, sorry. It's... Stop, Dad. I don't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing the workouts right now. Uh, you want to make the NBA? <laughs> you're doing your workout. I don't care how you feel. Other Dad, stop yelling at me. You're eight foot <laughs> tall. No, 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 Just try a little bit. Not yet. Just a little bit and you'll get in. <laughs> Okay. Right. Just Anything shoot four right? dozen free throws and you can go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Captain K, you are up. Uh, David. Yes. Is there, from where I'm standing, if I were to cast something that's a 30 foot cone, can I do that and not and exclude Linnea? Wait, you can't because you're nauseated. Not anymore. Oh. oh. Wait, how did you get oh. unnauseated? It was only one round. Oh, it's only one round? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I would oh. think. Uh, hold on, where is my. Oh, there's a cone tool on roll tool. Well, no, but like you, you could go down cover. to there and then over to there, and it should only hit the. You know what I mean? Like the doorway will. Will absorb the. Yeah, yeah that's, we'll that's keep what it I was straight, hoping. right? Yeah. I, I think. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Linnea is standing You're going to try and shoot a cone through it? Yeah. I think it gets a plus, a bonus to its AC or something, but. There's no AC. It's a. It's a. Yeah. It's a. It's like a reflex save to avoid. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. A ridiculous. After it rolled a 30 on the last three. Oh, yeah. Shoot. Doesn't matter. It's still something. Um, so I'm going to do a force blast. Ooh. Force blast. Ooh there we go. Uh, so I gather mystical energy and blast outward in a mighty wave originating from my fingertips, damaging Ooh. and potentially knocking back your enemies. The spell deals. 2d6 force damage to each creature in the area unless it succeeds at a reflex saving throw for half damage. Okay, is it only enemies? No, but we just said I can exclude the nail. Oh, okay, perfect. So, reflex save? Yes. Ah, uh, oh, shit. 28. <laughs> Such oh, a it. jerk. Okay, well, you take three You take, <laughs> you take. take three points of force damage. Ow. Uh, and then the force of the spell effectively attempts to bull rush you, but you, I guess you're up against a wall. Does that, would that matter? 
It's just tiny, diminutive creatures. There's so many of them. It's, it's just every like, creature in the area. That's okay. So it would apply, but it yeah, just has nowhere to go. Second edition, I believe you do damage if you bull rush into a wall. I don't know if that is in Starfinder. Mm -hmm. But I, I would maybe argue that because it's kind of an area effect, it might do an extra point of damage, an extra 50%. Oh, yeah, that's true. Oh. That's fair, David. So what was that, three points of damage? Yes. So another one. one yeah. We love David. Yeah, so yeah. it only has Chipping 90 away. hit points. We love David. <laughs> guys are really breaking the back. Six more episodes. Bank here. Uh, How does it look? Oh, great. great. It looks great. Well, wait, oh, we huh? don't need any more information, right, in this room? No, we, we can. We We're should out of here. Away. We should run. Um, yeah, so if it matters, it bull it's a 21 to bull rush. But... Uh, just thought I'd throw that out there. And then Kresko will uh, continue moving and she'll get, command the group. Fall back. Fall back. And then she'll take another uh, six feet of six squares of movement. Kresko com commands the uh, team to fall back. Callum, Kresko, and Dr. Friss roll a perception check. Oh, oh God. No. no. They were in this room too, weren't they? Yeah. Yes. I knew oh. that was, was going to happen. <laughs> 28. Uh, everybody's dead. Twenty. <laughs> dead. Ba -na -ba -ba -ba. Twenty-five for Friss. Eighteen. Yeah. All right, Callum. <laughs> Sorry, but Qualo and Dax are now in the safest room of <laughs> the place. Mm -hmm. Are they? Arguably. Uh, you see that as this uh, mold swarm or whatever the hell it is, you haven't been able to identify it, has started to coalesce all these filaments forming this swarm. All of the filaments that were around all of the uh, equipment and on the walls and on the floor of the ceiling have started to recede. And as they've started to recede, the structure of the building looks like it's starting to come down. Oh, oh shit. Oh. So right next to Dr. Friss, just <laughs> a plank from the ceiling oh. falls down. There's no windows in here, are there? That is amazing. Not in this room. It's completely <laughs> dark. Oh. <laughs> Oh, crap. Oh, we haven't even cleared out the fog of war yet. <laughs> <laughs> you have to get that data pad off the ground. <laughs> Dax, you are up. Oh, you don't see this. So I don't see it in this room. You need to play But as since if. I know about it, I'm going to act as if Dax did, knows about sure, it. Right? Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> right. Did that happen on my turn? Uh, at the end of your turn, yeah. So I couldn't take a reaction to command No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not about Everyone make for the closest exit now. Ooh. Bear in mind, the closest exit may be behind you. <laughs> well put, Doctor. Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Uh, all right, Dax is going to... Hmm. I thought that I was the last to act in the round. You are. And, uh, okay, so Linnea went before the swarm. Oh, wait, Koala, did you move in the initiative? No, you stayed where you were. I stayed right where yeah. I was. So Linnea went before the swarm in this round. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, and she chose to stay in the room. Yeah, so Dax is going to come up, pull out the grenade, and then be like, damn it. Uh, and he'll ready in action to throw a grenade when Linnea moves away from the swarm. So you're ready in action. So he comes around, doesn't know Linnea's there. He's pulling the grenade off his belt, and then he's just like, duh! Yep. And he doesn't throw it because she's standing there. Okay. <laughs> Curious. New round, Dr. Friss. Uh, Dr. Friss, see, can I can I do an engineering check to see like maybe how long we have until this thing just collapses completely? And For we're sure. Screwed? Um, that is a twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. As you're seeing, you, as you're looking around at the structure, you see collapsing buildings. in the room where Dax and Linnea and Qualo are, thump, 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 pieces of the ceiling are starting to fall in there as well. Thump, another one falls next to you. Could be any minute. Could be any minute. That's 10 rounds. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yep. So could be any round. <laughs> yeah. All right. Could be any round. So let's take Better a safe than sorry. Let's ten minute rest. Take ten. Yeah. Could be any second. <laughs> well, we get fifteen. The captain already established. We get fifteen. Let's minutes. take a fifteen. Right. I am hurting. Let's, take, let's take a fifteen. We, ele we, are, we elected in our union meeting to take fifteen. <laughs> take a fifteen minute every two hours instead of. Yeah. Are, we're talking about this on the comm unit too, just like <laughs> wasting time. Stop! Stop <laughs> talking! Move! Uh, Friss is. He's gonna double move and try to get out. Uh, yeah. So now that Friss calls this, that the the building is coming down. 
Yeah, that changes things. And he's actually going to go <laughs> go to the south once he gets out of the corridor to clear out this fog of war. <laughs> Just to satisfy Linnea's last request. All right, so Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I got, you got this. You got this. At least when she dies, she will know. A swarm away. A swarm away. Yeah, right. I'm <laughs> gonna honor her death. All right, so Friss, you bop out that door and uh, go to the south there to fulfill Linnea's dying request. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I, wish I, I know there's gonna be a clue there. Here's I know the it. thing. That's what Linnea would have seen had she made it through. <gasps> oh no, it's gonna be blocked. However, this is what it looks like. <laughs> Now, oh, if I can shit. get this stupid thing to work. Oh, Spence is killing us. Ceiling, I know. Oh. Ceiling oh. Try. Oh. It's, Try. Frog. it's that. Frog. It's that. Uh, oh. Oh. No. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Oh, it, the corridor is blocked with rubble. Oh, see? Chris. Complete, completely, wow. or could you climb What a cool it, thing for you to see. You yeah. come around see the corner, it. and see? it's just like crumbling down. It's like, oh, no. Lenea was right. There exactly. was something see? there. Exactly. See, doesn't it feel better now? Certain death. Now we know. <laughs> Well, we have to dig through the rubble to find what was there. Yeah, technically, we still don't know what's there, right? Right. So, yeah, first it's comes... a new kind of fog. You see something glittering in gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. My treasure. Frisk For... comes scrabbling around the corner and just, <laughs> boom, like this this blockage, like as it's, the ceiling collapses, and he's ready to turn around and, and dart the other way, but that's the end of his turn. That's the end of his turn. It is Linnea Donovan's turn. Linnea, you see Dax turn the corner, pull the pin on the grenade, and you're standing there. What do you do? I These get are your new pals, your yeah, new buddies. But the thing is, I mean, a part of her wants to clo get out and then close the door and see if it can get out of the... On you know, Dax and Koala. Yeah. Yeah, but like... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, that's the only reasonable thing to do. <laughs> no, but like, I mean, it's going to follow her, but well... I'm working very hard to not make eye contact with Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I always do when I'm running from a, a mold spore is I always close the door on my family and friends. <laughs> 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 I always think about in the event of a fire, I would lock my wife and child in the bedroom <laughs> and run outside. <laughs> well, well, she's she's like, like, you don't want the fire she's coming like, through the door. They are <laughs> not neither my friends nor my family. Oh. As far she it's know. just your protege. Yeah. yeah. No, Callum is not there anymore. Uh, <laughs> oh, right. I'm on, yeah, I'm on the other exactly. side. Exactly. That's why she's like, oh. These are just strangers who fought and maybe died for you. <laughs> she's, a, she's a captain with a fire axe on the first lifeboat as it's sinking, and there's like 20 women and children behind her. Just honestly, <laughs> I don't want to pressure first, you. No, 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 you no, do, because if you close the door, it would be the most amazing thing <laughs> ever. You might not survive after first, the Remember, <laughs> it's Max daughter, so, you know, there's some darkness so going on. A hole. But second of all, uh, it was just like sometimes you have to make the hard decisions. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make that oh, you gotta <laughs> seal the airlock. And I you gotta, you gotta, it's like a submarine <laughs> <laughs> disaster. But okay, you gotta I seal them in. I won't do it. For the course, record, the I building won't. is also collapsing, and then the door will be closed, right. but the walls around it will be gone. And yeah. the will just if anything, go you should leave the doorway open just so you have something to stand under. It's true. Oh, yeah. actually, oh yeah, she's gonna block the door. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, Smart. okay. Obviously, I'll make the boring, <laughs> boring decision and just run. Uh, another, another more about running. Yeah, no, well. Not just when can't move just when the building is going to come down just within remember, 25 rounds. remember, you can't move rounds. diagonally out the door. you got to move right and then up 10, 10 feet. Wait, what? You can't move di you diagonally can't move out diagonal. the door. All right, That's so I, I'll, I'll, okay. Yep. Yep, I'll move um, move up to Callum. Up to Callum. And so. see what's up. Why why are they not moving? And then I'm realizing, whoops, we are going to get stranded Shagong, in here. Right next to your foot. <laughs> Koala's turn. Uh, it's Dax's turn. Boop, boop. Oh, Dax is going to throw the grenade. Old grenade goes. Uh, that is a 21 to hit. Boom goes the dynamite. Boom goes the dynamite. Uh, Great. Seven points of damage and a reflex save. Need a natty one. Give me a natty one. 25. Damn it. You're so fine. Sorry. So seven points of damage. Plus, oh, plus, plus it was eight. Yeah, so ten points. Yeah. Ten plus. points of damage. Nice. Okay. Of fire damage. Um, and do you want to move it all? Uh, yeah. Oh no, I moved and then readied an action. 
That's right, you sure did. Yeah, so now I'm gonna be rolling against a disease. And it shit! And you hit it. You hit it and just da -dung, da -dung, da -dung, da -dung. more things start falling in the room and now you guys realize, having heard what Qualo, uh, what Kreska said, that like this room is in as just much danger, if not more so than the room that they're in. Get the F out. It's Qualo's turn. Qualo's going Super Saiyan 3, but uh -huh. not before he gets on the other side of the door, which nice. should avoid every one of his uh, his uh, companions, but just target that swarm. Whoa, well, Linnea. No, no, Linnea, that's a 10 foot radius. Oh I, oh, I thought it was 15. I'm no, sorry. 15 on other nice. effects. Ooh. Oh, nice. Look at how many D6s are above three over there. Do I got a reflex or no? Uh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I think you do. You're going to pass. Okay. Maybe not. Yeah, 27. Yeah, uh, so you take 15 points of fire damage. Fire! Oh. And yeah, that would be buddy. half again, yes? Yeah, so, so 22, 22 points. Yep. 22 points of damage. Oh. And it's still up. What a waste of level one grenades. Level uh, two grenades. Level two grenades. Hey, you know what, though? you got to throw them to figure out how much damage you're really doing. Yep. Yeah. Um, yep. But more, tong, 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 more chunks start falling out of the building. But Qualo has got out of the room. And it is now its turn. Oh, damn it. I screwed up. Well, it really wants Qualo, I think. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, oh, God. It can't really, uh, you know what? It's just going to uh, move towards Dax. God. Dax, you don't have a melee weapon out, right? No. Okay. Uh, so it'll just do automatic damage to you. Oh, man, this is so much this fun. Sucks. This is so rough. Uh, Why does it go to Dax? Uh... Uh, doesn't like hungry. you. When this no, enemy was hungry. on his square? Uh, I can't get out the door. It, it oh, you weren't. You feet. stepped out of his yeah, square. Yeah, stepped that's out right. of there. That's right. Uh, so it goes after you and does a whopping, um, not not great, but still pretty good, um, uh, 17 points of damage. Roll your first fortitude save. Oh, my God. You got to pass this one. You got to get out of the building. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna fail. Joe. Mm -mm. No, 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 wait. No, I'm not gonna no, fail. No, you're not. I'm Positive not gonna thoughts. fail. You're gonna do great. Here we go. Whew. Natural one. Oh, oh, Jesus Christmas! Chicken and cheese cake! Yeah! <laughs> not even a two. Not even, not even a two! I can't believe, I can't believe it. <laughs> It's crazy seeing this in person. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not. It's not. It's a seven? It's a seven. Oh. You just punched the table. I don't think it moved. I think All right, it moved. I'll take it. I'll you take were it. just spotting the chat a no, mile away I think, earlier. I think that might have been a seven. Come from my angle, that's fine. Does. I, whatever, I'll take Get it. Get the video replay, please. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. In. God Hold on, let's turn yeah. a computer monitor on the side like See, an NBA game. Pound the <laughs> table. It's like NFL. To... They circle it in big yellow <laughs> marker. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think I actually the pounded the table. I think there was a chicken. You know that Troy would draw I something. I believe it was lewd Jesus Christmas chicken and, and cheese. I, I believe I went <laughs> up. Can't Did I go down? He's like, oh, a uh, one? What if I. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Most times you pound the table, and I was, even over here, I was hiding in fear. So. <laughs> Matthew turned around. What would away it have like been a with a seven? Puppy. He was like, oh, no. With a seven. Uh, yeah, it it would have been great uh, science, guys. 14. Mythbusters. Great, doesn't matter anyway. <laughs> Still a fail. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now we can all go to bed at night. Uh, Give me uh, another roll against the uh, disease. Oh. Uh, okay. Now let's this... get four of y'all. Well, sick, now you have huh? a nat twenty. So. Right, and this one I'll get. I'll get a bonus too. Oh. Googly eyes. Oh, Googles. chicken and cheesecake. Give them the googs. Something interesting. I lost my googs. On my old character. Stop looking at me! <laughs> Everybody, <laughs> shut up! All right. Uh, I I can't find it. What is my bonus because I'm an android to... Oh, constructed. Plus two. Okay. Yes! Yes. What? 26 against Ooh. the disease. No disease Ooh. for Dax. Ooh. Androids get a bonus against disease. Yeah. Bonus against that the disease. Norton antivirus protection pays off again. Wait. It sure does. <laughs> so what was the first roll? It's against not the disease. Against the distraction uh, no. to see if he's nauseated. So I'm oh, nauseated. nauseated. Yes. So now you can only take one move action next round. It's actually shocking to me that an android is subject to nausea. Yeah. yeah. You're, you're part okay. of organic. Or maybe it's no, like, I get it. Or maybe it's almost like vertigo, like you're dizzy. Yeah, you yeah. know, but it's screwing up your system. I mean, Forty-five minutes ago, smell. you could smell the the, yeah. the fridge. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> Dax's organic matter comes and goes based on the situation. <laughs> <laughs> it's like selective hearing. Right. <laughs> uh, all right, that is its turn. It is now Callum's turn. 
Okay. What do you got, Callum? What do you got? I don't know. I'm going to run. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to run for you. Um, That's smart. That is smart. I'm between, guys, I'm between doing, like, running as my two move actions or running and doing some, like, kind of fun role play thing that would happen. I think I should just do my two move actions and yes. not just get out. fuck around. Yeah. Right. Nobody likes fun role play. Just get out of the building. Yeah. <laughs> That's gonna, not why we're here. Joe's gonna have, <laughs> we're not here for your fun role play. Don't worry. Joe's going to have a very fun role play encounter with the spores next round. <laughs> God damn it. All right. I ran my... I'm dying. Matthew, I don't... You know what I don't like, Matthew? How really? much you like this. <laughs> <laughs> I ran my 60 feet. All right. Where did it get you? I am in the next room yeah. that we came in, out of. Oh. Yeah, so you just offices. assume that... You got through this door here? Because as you go to open this door, it's jammed shut. Oh, God. We never opened it? No, you did. But during the collapse, that door is jammed <laughs> All right, wait, oh, wow. shut. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'm holding. So, instead of moving that second move action, what Callum is going to do is in his haste, he just attempts to run through the door. He thinks it's going to open. Mm -hmm. And during that time, he accidentally casts teleportation. So he is going to teleport 40 feet into the room. But the caveat is he has a 50% chance that he'll arrive somewhere else than my intended square. Oh, yes. So. <laughs> oh, you just no. made oh. Troy's so, day. Oh, yes. This was the fun role playing. I'm oh, yes. This was the fun role playing, guys. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. So you did a so, single move and then did this? A single move and then I cast. Wow. Um, so I travel in the correct direction and the correct distance, but uh, I have a 50% chance oh, I'll arrive elsewhere. God. You have to use the missing with a thrown weapon diagram to determine, but basically it's a one. D you, you arrive 1d6 squares away from the intended square. Oh, my God. You could be a part of a cubicle well, that's indestructible. Well, if I hit... <laughs> If I arrive in a space that's already occupied by a solid object, I take 1d6 damage and I'm Oh, there's so I'm many shunted. squares with solids. Yeah. I'm shunted to the nearest open space. So I just take damage oh, and bounce off. Okay. Well, okay. It's, it's not that bad. You need a good shunting every once in a while. You're basically, you, you're going to move somewhere in the... Into the room. Into the room. It builds yeah. character. Well, All right. 50% chance. All right, but good shunting to a team. How, what's the extent of your movement? Uh, or do you on. just, from there, you teleport? Like, where do you want to teleport? So I want to teleport. This is my designated. Uh, why can't I? Oh, here we go. This is my designated spot. Oh, wow. So right there? The yep. So 1d6 squares away from this area. <gasps> okay. You could go into the room we haven't gone into. <laughs> I could. Yes. Wow. Yes. I could. Uh, All right. But you want to go right here, yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay. That's, well, that's between the cubicles for those of who are listening. Yes, for people yeah. listening, it's in the southern side and of the cubicles. And it's really far away from everyone else. Like you, you are rolled a percentile, though. And just yeah. imagine, he's like sprinting, and he literally just disappears through this door that's locked oh. and jammed. Oh. And then just reappears in this sp He's like, what the? Like, literally didn't mean to Let's do this. Let's see where you reappear. Roll. I'll let you roll a D100. We'll oh. say 51 or higher. I never get to roll these. You wait, end wait, up wait. right where you want. It's a 50-50? No, yeah, it's, it's a 40 50. 40, 60, right? You, it's a 50, you said a 40% chance? 50% chance. Oh, it's 50, 50 okay. Yeah, so 51 or higher, and you're fine. And I'm fine. Okay. Unless you're rolling 86. What happens All then? Right, the worst I possible. 30. Oh. So sorry. Uh, I'm going to roll a D. You said D6. Right? Oh, D8, you want a low D8 number? D8, right? D8 first. Oh. D8 for direction. Direction, yep. D8 for oh. direction. All right, so you want uh, a 1 or a 2, 3, 4, or a 5. Anything else puts you in a solid space. Well, and then you roll a D6. And then you roll a D6 to to figure out how many squares. Distance. So pick the so direction. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, I get yeah. so this ideally is, you oh. want like yeah, a... Yeah, this is a great, great. great. So, <laughs> Look at Troy. Wait, so Troy, my direction keeps going forward. So whatever you roll on this will be fine because my intended keeps. direction is that way. Oh, no, so you don't says, roll a D8. No, right? it, it says use the uh, mist. Yeah. Uh, thrown oh, what the diagram. diagram. So it could be any. It's 1D8. I mean, this is absolutely huge. Yeah, because so I, I think you start with the northernmost square uh, as a one, right? And uh, then no, it's the square closest to where you're throwing it from. And then it goes, I believe, clockwise around. All right, let's go ahead and just put you where I you mean, want it, it to be, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's where, that was where you wanted to be. Uh, <laughs> let's roll the D8. Oh, my God. Seven. So uh, oh, I that's the like the perfect. No, it's not the perfect. One. Isn't that uh, the southern one? So It'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, come on. But then oh. you roll 1d6. To see yeah. how far you go into that next room. Yeah. Oh, you wow. are actually going to go into the unexplored oh, room? Yes, I, I, love that, I love that you're panicking Great. and you're in a small space. This She's is perfect going. role playing She's wise. going? Yeah. One, two, three, 
four. Oh, oh my, my God. God. The only Callum. fog of war on the map. You Do you teleported. still have dancing lights on? Nope. All it's right. pitch black. I can't see anything. There is dim light. Oh, I can see like normal light then. Yeah, and you see you're like on a table. <gasps> you're on like a conference room table. And you see dim light from a window up ahead of you. Oh. I'm jumping out the fucking window. <laughs> Moving right along, it is Kreska's turn. Oh, uh, Kreska will take her first move action and get to the jam door or the closed door. Okay. Strength check to open. You better make it, sister. Uh, 14. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh come She's very on. Sick. She's very sick. <laughs> wow. Let me just confirm. Speaking of very sick. He's nauseated. He's an android. Oh, 15, 15. 15. Still didn't do it. All right. Uh, it's Dax's turn. Dax. Strength checks are the worst. I know. They are. They're so terrible. Because it's always it's a, a small mechanic. bonus, even it's when you're terrible even mechanic. when you're like level 13. It's still just a shitty bonus. Yeah. You could be the guy that played the mountain on Game of Thrones. <laughs> and it would still just be like a plus four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dax is just going to move out past uh, Linnea. Stop right <gasps> there. As you attempt to move out of the room, you get past Qualo, right to the left of him there. And then suddenly, you feel the floor around you start to shake. No, 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 no! Yes, 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 yes. No, 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 no! As the floor collapses. Shut up, dude! Underneath Qualo. No, no! And we'll see you real soon. Oh, no. Are you no. kidding? Whoa, oh, it's Dax. This, this is, is it. Horrible. Look at that artwork. It's amazing. This is it. <laughs> oh, no. We just finished recording our first EP. Folks, we'll see you in a couple weeks with Glass Cannon Live Boston. And then look out for a and 100 and 101 coming real soon. Oh, Make sure you guys bring new characters. <laughs>